waits for you when you get home. There could yeah. be some power outages. So let's get right over to meteorologist Dan Amaranti to figure out what you need to know, what the timing's looking like here. I think the strongest of the wind will probably be right around like uh, just after noon into the early afternoon, like around like two, maybe three o'clock or so, one, two, three o'clock around that time frame is when the winds like pulse a bit and that's when we'll have yeah. some of those strongest wind gusts. But the rain is already falling out yep. there, so get ready for that. Let's take a look at the radar right now. We'll see some of those heavier downpours in a few locations. Nothing uh, that would be considered like torrential rain just yet, but it is still uh, increasing across a lot of the state, especially across central areas now. Uh, northern Connecticut seeing a little batch of some moderate rain and uh, a little bit of this actually when you see a look like this, these are something called gravity waves. That's actually a sign of a strengthening storm and that's what's going on uh, down to our southwest especially. So we'll zoom out and show you the storm. It's strengthening. It's getting larger. It's getting bigger and it's got some pretty nasty weather on it. We are on the rainy and warmer side of the storm and so we'll be seeing all rain out of this, but over towards Ohio and into Detroit and into uh, portions of Indiana, they'll be seeing some pretty heavy snow out of this. That's the cold side of the storm. You can see that snow already where you see some of those uh, bluish colors there. The center of the storm located pretty much right over West Virginia. That's sort of the center of it there, and this will be passing off to our west, but uh, by being on the eastern half of the storm, that means that we are getting all the rain and all the wind as well. And this is what we have out there as we go on through the rest of the day. Right around uh, noontime, maybe into the early afternoon, some of the, the, the bulk of the rain coming through, consistent heavy downpours, upwards of one to two inches, possibly some three inch amounts in a few locations, and possibly a couple of thunderstorms as well. Can't rule out some severe weather today. The Storm Prediction Center has us in what's called a marginal risk for severe weather today. And some of these storms could have some damaging winds on them and obviously very heavy rain, a little bit of lightning possible as well. But overall, wind would be the main issue with this, with these heavy downpours. One bit of good news, at least, is that the leaves aren't on the trees. So the trees are a little bit more aerodynamic than they would be in the summertime. So hopefully that helps, but I still anticipate there will be some wires and branches down as we go on through the day today. And then as we head towards the night tonight and uh, into the early morning hours, things will continue to quiet down, kind of tapering down a little bit into some lingering showers as opposed to the bulk of the rain coming through like it is this afternoon. The wind gusts up around 40, 50 miles per hour, possibly near 60 in some spots across the state with that wind advisory in effect. The southeastern areas would likely have some of the higher wind gusts right around the Groton New London area, Ledger, Salem, Montville, and even uh, Norwich possibly seeing some pretty gusty winds later on today in that 50 to maybe 60 range over towards our uh, farther out to our east, Rhode Island into eastern Massachusetts. They have the potential for some gusts up above 60 miles per hour. So even worse out there. Now for us today, those winds are already starting to pick up 16 miles per hour in Groton, 18 miles per hour now in Bridgeport with a temperature of 53 in Bridgeport, 56 in New Haven and now 51 in Willimantic. Willimantic was at 37 last hour. They just jumped to 51. So that just tells you uh, this wind is bringing in some warmer air and that's going to be the case today as we get up to around 60 degrees by tonight, the lingering showers, temperatures into the 50s and tomorrow maybe a lingering shower or two, but overall mainly dry tomorrow after maybe a little bit of morning rain. Temperatures starting off the 50s, dropping throughout the day into the 30s by the end of the day. So a colder air mass moving in and that'll keep those temperatures on the chillier side all the way throughout the rest of this week and into this weekend as we bring in more December weather, just in time for December. We'll keep you up to date with that forecast, of course, all the way throughout the morning and always on fox61.com. But for now, we'll send it back to you.